The skin is the largest organ of the body that protects the internal organs, regulates the body temperature, secretes and excretes oil and sweat, has a slight ability to absorb moisture and provides senses to heat, pain and touch. It is covered with acid mental an acidic covering that protects from bacterial invasions. Skin is divided to epidermis and dermis and there is a fatty underlying tissue. Epidermis has five layers stratum corneum, stratum lucidum, stratum granulosum, stratum spinosum, stratum germinativum. Dermis is divided to two layers papillary and reticular. The fatty tissue also called Subcutaneous tissue is a fatty layer of skin that provides soft cushion to the skin. Epidermis, also called the cuticle layer or scarf skin, is 25 times thinner than dermis. It does not contain nerve endings and blood vessels, so when epidermis is accidentally cut, it does not hurt. Stratum corneum, the outer layer of epidermis, is also called horny layer, contains dead cells that are constantly shed and replaced contains protein keratin. Epidermis is waterproof. Stratum lucidum, the layer of epidermis beneath the stratum corneum and above stratum granulosum. It is made of translucent cells that allow the light to pass through. Stratum granulosum, the layer of epidermis beneath stratum lucidum and above stratum spinosum, contains cells that look like granules, contains almost dead cells that are pushed to the surface of the stratum corneum to be shed away and be replaced with new cells. Stratum spinosum, the layer of epidermis that is located between stratum granulosum and stratum germinativum. It is a thin spiny layer. Stratum germinativum, the last layer of epidermis that is located beneath the stratum spinosum and the dermis, also called basal cell layer, also called stratum mucosum deepest layer of the epidermis responsible for the growth of epidermis, contains melanocytes, melanin pigment responsible for skin color. The more melanin, the darker the skin. Dermis, the layer beneath epidermis, also called derma, corium, cutis or true skin, approximately 25 times thicker than epidermis, divided to two layers, papillary and reticular. Unlike epidermis, Dermis has nerve endings that react to heat, pain and touch. Papillary layer, the first layer of the dermis located beneath epidermis and above the reticular layer, contains papillae, a cone-shaped hair-like projections, some of them contain looped capillaries. Some papillae contain tactile carpuscles, which have nerve endings that react to sense of touch, contains melanin, the skin color pigment. Reticular layer, the second layer of dermis, supplies nutrients and oxygen to the skin, contains hair follicles, erector pili muscles, blood vessels, lymph vessels, sweat and oil glands, fat cells. Subcutaneous tissue is a fatty layer underneath the dermis, also called adipose or subcutaneous tissue, made of fatty layer that provides a protective cushion to the skin. Functions of the skin are protection, heat regulation, sensation, excretion, secretion and absorption. The skull is divided into two parts, cranium and facial bones. Cranium, facial bones. Cranium bones protect the brain. Occipital, bone at the nape area, parietal, Side and top parts of the both sides of the cranium, two bones. Frontal, the forehead bone. Temporal bones around the ears. Ethmoid bone, spongy bone that is located between the eye sockets. Sphenoid bone, the bone that connects all cranium bones together. Occipital bone, which is at the nape area of the skull of the cranium, is attached to two temporal bones, the two parietal bones, and the frontal bone, which makes the forehead. Ethmoid is the spongy bone between the eye sockets. Sphenoid is a bone that attaches all the cranium bones together, but it's way inside, so it's impossible to show. Facial bones, 
nasal bones, part of the bridge of the nose. Two lacrimal bones form the wall of the eye sockets. Zygomatic bones, cheekbones, they're also called molar bones. Maxilla, two bones that form the upper jaw, mandible. The only movable bone of the skull that forms the lower jaw, it is also the largest and the strongest facial bone. The facial bones include the lacrimal bones, which are the ones that make the eye sockets, the two nasal bones, the zygomatic bones, which are the cheekbones, the maxillae, the top bone of the mouth, is mandible, the bottom, the jaw bone. The mandible is only bone that moves. Hair is divided into two parts, hair root and hair shaft. Hair root is the part of the hair that is located below the skin surface. Hair shaft is the part that is projected above the skin, the visible part of the hair. Hairdressers work on hair shaft. Hair health is based on proper nutrition of proteins, good blood circulation and proper hygiene. The hair root is made of hair follicle, hair bulb, dermal papilla, erector pili muscle, and sebaceous glands. Hair shaft is made of three parts, cuticle, cortex, and medulla. Cuticle is the outermost layer of the hair shaft. It is constructed with overlapping scale-like layers that determine the porosity of the hair. When the scales are slightly open, the hair has normal porosity. When the scales are open all the way, the hair is porous, and when the scales are closed, the hair has poor porosity. Cortex is the middle layer of the hair that carries the most weight of the hair, contains protein keratin and melanin coloring pigment. All the chemical processes take place in cortex. Medulla, the innermost layer of the hair. Natural blondes with fine hair may not have medulla. Hairdressers are more concerned with cuticle and cortex than medulla. Hair is made of 90% of the protein made of amino acids, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and sulfur. Hair bonds are hydrogen bonds, salt bonds, disulfide bonds, peptide bonds making polypeptide chain. Side bonds of the cortex. Hydrogen bonds are side bonds easily broken by water and heat when the hair is shampooed, roller set and dried or blow dried. They make up one third of the hair strength. Salt bonds are side bonds easily broken by any pH change. They make up one third of the hair strength. Disulfide side bonds. Disulfide bonds are stronger than salt and hydrogen bonds. They are two sulfur bonds that are only broken by stronger chemicals than water. Perm solution and relaxers will break the disulfide bonds. Peptide bonds are end bonds. They are linked like pop beads. Peptide bonds linked together with long chains of amino acids make the polypeptide chain intertwining together to make a spiral shape called helix. Hair pigment. Melanin is the pigment that gives the hair its color. Eumelanin provides black and brown color to the hair. Pheomelanin provides red and yellow colors to the hair. Normal hair color is a combination of eumelanin and pheomelanin pigment in a variety of ratios. Gray hair does not have melanin. Hair analysis and hair quality. Hair is analyzed by using the four senses of touch, hearing, sight, and smell. The four aspects to consider in hair analysis are porosity, hair density, hair elasticity, and texture. Hair porosity is the ability of the hair to absorb moisture. Low porosity, poor porosity, is when the cuticle layer of the hair is closed making it hard for the chemicals to penetrate, hair might need pre-softening. Average or normal porosity is when the cuticle is slightly open, 
which allows the chemicals to process normally. High porosity or overly porous hair is when the cuticle layer of the hair is completely open. Chemicals might overprocess and have unexpected results. The hair will be left dry, brittle and will break easily. Fillers are recommended for hair color application. Some chemical services are not recommended due to damage to the hair. Hair texture, the diameter and general feel of the hair is classified as coarse, medium and fine. Coarse hair has the largest diameter, is resistant to chemical services. Pre-softening or extra chemicals are necessary at times to process coarse hair. Medium hair is thinner than coarse hair and is easily processed with chemicals. Fine hair is thinner than medium hair and has the smallest diameter of the previous two. Easiest to process but might get damaged easily too. Hair density is the amount of hair strands in one square inch. The density is classified as low, the least amount of hair per square inch, medium, average amount per square inch, high, very dense hair per square inch. Hair elasticity is the hair's ability to stretch and return to its original length without breaking. Hair elasticity analysis is important before chemical services, hair straightening and thermal straightening. Hair growth phases are anagen, the growing phase, catagen, transition phase, telogen, resting phase. Anagen phase takes two to six years. Average growth of hair during this phase is about two inches per month. 90% of hair on an individual's head is an anagen phase. Catagen phase, transition phase, lasts only one to two weeks. During this process, the hair follicle shrinks and separates from dermal papilla. The hair is no longer nourished with blood and lymph. Only 1% of hair is in catagen phase. During telogen phase, resting phase, the detached hair rests between 3 to 6 months. Only 10% of hair is in telogen phase at one time. If the hair is vigorously brushed or pulled, it will easily fall out giving way to the new hair that is already starting to form to fill the vacant hair follicle. Hair loss. Alopecia is abnormal hair loss. Androgenic alopecia is male pattern baldness that is characterized by rapidly shrinking and converting terminal hair. Pigmented thick hair to vellus or lanugo hair, thin translucent hair. It is based on heredity, age and hormonal imbalance. Men and women can suffer androgenic alopecia as early as teenage years. Alopecia areata is sudden loss of hair in patches, affects around 5 million people in US. Postpartum alopecia is a temporary hair loss condition that happens after pregnancy. The hair count normalizes a year after the delivery. Hair loss treatments. Minoxidil is a hair loss treatment that is applied on the affected area twice a day. Finasteride is an oral prescription medication exclusively for men with hair loss problems. Disorders of the scalp. Dandruff is a condition of small white scales on the scalp and hair called pityriasis. The two types of dandruff are pityriasis captus simplex, the dry type of dandruff characterized with itchy scalp and dry scales, and Pityriasis theatoides, the waxy and greasy type of dandruff that needs medical treatment. Fungus infections of scalp, called tinea, is the ringworm. Tinea capitis is ringworm of the scalp that consists of red papules that cause hair to break. Tinea favosa is the honeycomb ringworm that is characterized by dry yellow crusts on scalp that have a foul smell. All ringworm conditions are highly contagious and should not be worked on by cosmetologists. The client should be referred to a physician. Animal parasitic infections. Scabies are caused by itch mite that are highly contagious, characterized by pustules and vesicles from the parasitic infection. 
refer the client to a physician. Pediculosis capitis are head lice infestation of the scalp. Do not work on clients with head lice infestation. Refer them to the doctor. Disorders of the hair. Canities is a technical term for the gray hair. Congenital canities are gray hair from birth, absence of melanin pigment, albino hair. Acquired canities are gray hair developed later in life due to age, worry, anxiety, illness or nervousness. Ringed hair is alternating black and white hair on one strand of hair. Hypertrichosis or hirsutis is superfluous hair, thick terminal hair growth on areas of the body that does not normally grow terminal hair, only vellus or lanugo hair. In other words, hair grows where we don't expect it to grow. Trichoptilosis, split hair ends, to treat, cut the hair or use silicone based products. Trichorexis nodosa, knotted hair, the dry hair has swellings along the side of the hair shaft and is susceptible to breakage. To treat, use hair softeners to make it moist and well conditioned. Monilatrix, beaded hair, the hair is beaded in parts of hair shaft and is fragile at the parts that have beads or knots. Fragilita scrinium, brittle hair that splits easily, the hair needs to be conditioned more often.